For me, fishing has been a part of my whole life. From the time I could walk, I've been traveling and fishing to chase and hook the big one. My name is Dennis Isbister, and I live in the deserts of Nevada. Fishing is more than a hobby for me. It's my life. Leading fishing expeditions, traveling to the most remote parts of the world for the catch of a lifetime. My name is Alan Broderick, and I'm from Ireland. This is Wild Fish, Wild Places. Fishing Florida Radio on the Fishing Florida Radio Network. Good morning. This is Mudro along with Steve Chapman. Hey now. Captain Mike Ortega. Good morning. We've got Alan from Wild Fish Wild Places. Good morning. Dennis from Wild Fish Wild Places. Good morning. Less is more is here this morning. Greg's taking uh, video. We are actually being filmed this morning. That's a scary thought. So <laughs> thank you for coming in, first yeah, and foremost. Yeah, thanks for great having us. It's been, been great down here in Florida. we having fun so far. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys are here to film shows, right? Yep. Or at least yeah. one show. Two shows. We're gonna two, do shows. two shows. We're going to do a little, little segment at iCast. A little cool. segment here. And then Alan's got us hooked up with a buddy. Yeah. We're going down to Marco Island with my buddy Ry Taylor, Captain okay. Ry Taylor, and we're hoping to get some snook and maybe, maybe, might see a tarpon come on board. I'm I, at this be this awesome. time of year. I'm sure you'll see a tarpon. Yeah. I, I I I would imagine you'll see a tarpon. Now, terrific. how long have you guys? This is you're filming for the third series, the third season. Excuse mm-hmm. me of Wild Fish Wild Places, right? Yeah, we're, yep. in, we're in our third season. I suppose when you look back, it's three years now. This summer, Dennis and I hooked up on Athabasca. Yeah, and out of that chance meeting in the middle of nowhere, we are here. We fished together for a week, talking business ideas, and <laughs> a it just all show. worked. There yeah, yeah, it it happened. We we took what we had, you know, saved up from. I was in construction for years. Took what we had saved up, you know, put it out there. Took a risk, just like any other business. So yep. let's let's see if we can make this work. If we make it work, it'll be it'll be a good deal. And hey, here we are. In this next upcoming season, you're, you've got Florida. Where else are you guys headed to? show from up in Elko, the Elko area, up in the mountains, the Ruby Mountains of northeast Nevada, which is, to me, beautiful place. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's uh, yeah. my home state of Nevada. Is, is There's some beautiful parts of it. Most people don't think about it. If they've never been there, they don't think about the mountains and yes. right. snow right. and that sort of stuff. But we took Alan up to a pretty remote corner of northeast Nevada. That I It's been a while since I've been up there. Wild Horse. And South Fork's a little more crowded, but Wild Horse is just, we, uh, <clears throat> in, in Finland about yeah. three weeks ago, we did Finland, so we'll be two shows from there. Good We're going back to where we met at Lake Athabasca. Oh, that's Lakers awesome. Unlimited. That'd be yeah. a good show. We're pumped. A yeah. big lake trout. I mean, that place is famous for big lake trout, big pike. It, it's going to be, it's going to be a great place to film. We're, we're pretty excited. And then <clears throat> we're thinking about doing, um, there's a nice little, there's a bass pond right behind the strip club in Reno. We're going to take Alan to physically the strip club. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's a, it's a great strip club. <laughs> well, let me just say that everybody in Florida is really spoiled. I think at this point, yeah. because I have to drive a long ways in the desert to find fish really? everywhere is an hour at least. Well, I, it's, I mean, from here to the coast to yeah. Mosquito Lagoon, it's about 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, you guys just have really good fishing here. I'm, yeah. I'm jealous. That's all. Mm. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> we do. Yeah. We, we, we do. We, do. Yeah. Yeah. we do. But we also don't live in a desert. So. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. point. I, I live in a desert at some time. Bad choice. Yeah, bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> For fishing. <laughs> you know what I love to do, that's a bad choice. <laughs> yeah, it's not. We were gonna be. Yeah, the message here is, guys, if you live in a sauna, Compensates with the quality of the fish. Yes. <laughs> However, you have to deal with a lot of tourism down here. Now, now, uh, Alan, you've been fishing. How did your mom and dad teach you to take you fishing no. when you were back in Ireland, or no. how did you get started? My dad was not a fisherman. He was. He was the kindest guy. He used to 
he had he worked six days a week, so seventh day, the Sunday, he would take me fishing. And of course, being a non-angler, after two hours he'd say, Al, will we go home now? And of course, I'd be trying to untangle the far bank mm-hmm. out of a branch stuck yeah. in my head, <laughs> stuck probably in a clump of weed or whatever. And you know, as an eight, nine-year-old kid, you say, geez, Dad, have you only started? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think my dad regretted ever getting me involved in this. <laughs> but Dennis, how did, you, how did you get involved in the outdoors? Did, did Dad take you fishing when no, you were younger? M- my dad is a golfer. Yeah. He, you know, he doesn't care for fishing too much. My grandpa. Uh, oh, well, my, that's even my, better. Yeah, my grandfather and I have a really, really close relationship from that. He's been taking me since I was a little guy. We right. take trips um, up to places like Wild Horse my whole life, just yeah. t- getting taken by uh, the grandparents and the uncle. My uncle and I started fishing a lot together, kind of yep. drove that passion. I think it's one of those things that, you know, you have it or you don't. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, we take a lot of people fishing, and they and they love They'll have a great time, but they'll be like, okay, yeah, that was fun, but. You know, with us, the guys that are sitting at this table, and l- most of the people listening, I'm sure, it's you go out and it's, you're like, oh, yeah, I got to get back. Yeah. Right, right now. Have it it was absolutely wonderful to meet you guys and put faces with the voices and, and see y'all and meet each other. You're like brothers to us yeah. now. Yeah, vice yeah. versa. We had a great time. Thanks, guys. We had a good good welcome here in Florida. It was yeah. been a lot of fun, so thank you for having us. Ted. We've had a yes. bunch of laughs. We've had a great time, it's folks. Been, yeah. It's been great. Yeah. Mike, if people want to get in touch with you. 866-960-8403 or check us out, floridafisherman.net. Uh, until next week, what should they do? Get your fish on. Florida Fisherman style. Thank you for listening. Thank you, wildfishwildplaces.com. Check it out. We'll see yeah. you next week.